After such a long wait, we finally have World of Final Fantasy in our hands. It seems to be a really good game, but is it worth the buck? Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Happy. I'm going to be talking today about World of Final Fantasy. I'm going to tell you all the good about it. I'm going to tell you all the bad about it. And finally, I'm going to give you the rat tat technical. World of Final Fantasy is primarily set in the world of Grimoire, a land populated by classic Final Fantasy characters and monsters from across the series. While being unconnected to any other series entry, the storyline focuses on siblings, Land and Rain, who suffer from amnesia and hold the power in one of their arms to capture and wield mirages, the monsters of Grimoire. Land and Rain travel to Grimoire to recover their memory, gradually mastering their powers and becoming involved in the conflicts consuming the world. These include fights between rival factions within the native Lincoln and the impending threat of a Bahamut army. That is the general premise of this whole game. It takes place in the world of Grimoire and it has to do with two siblings who've lost their memory. From what I got to play, this game does seem to be a lot of fun, so we're gonna go over the good first. The good about this game is the graphics. The graphics are amazing in this game. You guys have to see this. I don't think that any gameplay as of yet has shown the potential that this game has for graphics. They are really truly amazing. The characters in it are hilarious, especially the brother and sister combo. What the honk? Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? I believe that Rain is the funnier one over land, but that's up to you to decide. Then you got the gameplay. The gameplay is really amazing. It's new. It's a little bit like Brave Exvius, where it, if you press, you know, to the left, this happens. If you press to the right, this happens. But if you like your classic Final Fantasy, all you have to do is press L1 and it'll give you that classic Final Fantasy. I love that about it. Also, when you travel throughout the world, it's really cool. You can actually use the monster that you have captured to ride on them in the demo you got to use the chocobo but later you actually get to use different things such as behemoth and i believe bahamut at one point in the actual game if you're a fan of classic final fantasy you're gonna love this game because it has a lot of cameo this is literally the world of every single final fantasy character whether they're main characters or they're side characters such as vivi he's a side character but he's in this game I can only imagine how many characters we're actually gonna get to see all together throughout the whole entire series. Also, talking about reminiscing on good things, if you like classic music for Final Fantasy, you're gonna love this game because a lot of the times as you're fighting, it has music from that specific Final Fantasy character. When you summon Titus or Titus, whatever you wanna call him, you actually get to hear the Blitzball theme that you hear in Final Fantasy X. I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. And when you summon somebody like Cloud, it's the same thing. You actually get to hear his theme song from Final Fantasy VII. Now let's go over the bat. There's only really two main things that I thought that were pretty bad in this game. The very first thing is the camera. Yeah, the camera. You cannot move the camera. There's very limited movement for the camera. It is set still and you kind of just have to walk around it and work with it however though if you think about it in pokemon it's the exact same thing it's like a fixed camera view and you have to travel within that fixed view i guess the reason why it bothered me so much was because if this game had not only been developed for the ps4 it's also developed for the ps vita i believe that if it was a ps4 exclusive we would definitely have had more maneuverability with the camera as well as probably a little bit better graphics these graphics are really good don't get me wrong but certain parts of it just looked a little bit retro to say the least such as the grass i mean i'm a big grass guy so <laughs> i am not too happy with the way the grass came out over here if i have to be honest the other bad thing that i had to say about it was the fact that you could only catch one of each monster this is something that i saw time and time again and the way that you capture the monster is also a little bit convoluted i did not really care for it which way do you capture the monster you have to bring it down to low hp before you are actually able to capture it in the games such as pokemon you could just keep throwing pokeballs at it where in this game you have to actually trigger it before you can actually capture each 
monster. This was really hard, especially when fighting the Mog, because I kept killing the Mogs over and over again in one shot, and I was never able to capture a single Mog. Now let's go over the Rat Tat Technical. <laughs> A game like this, I was really happy with the graphics and the way it plays. I believe that it plays around 1080p, 30 frames per second, and a little bit lower frameage per second in the Vita. It's not a game that you're really gonna need that many frames per second, such as something like, you know, Kingdom Hearts or something like that, where there's so much actions and so many things going on all at the same time, where if you have 60 frames per second, it looks a lot smoother. Where in this game, you just pretty much it's your classic Final Fantasy, so you really don't need that much frame per second. Overall, guys, I have to give this whole game a A. I will originally give it an A+, but due to those two little flaws in it, that's why I'm giving it an A, which is still a great grade for a game. Is it worth your buck? Man. I would definitely say it's definitely worth your buck. Man. In fact, I had to either pick playing this game or playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I actually picked this game over Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is really, really rare because I'm such a big Pokemon fan. Guys, this has been happy. I really do hope that you enjoyed this review for the World of Final Fantasy. And I really do hope that you actually do pick up the game when it comes out on October 25th. Speaking of that, I will actually be streaming this game when it comes out on October 25th and everybody who is on my stream I will probably name each and every one of my monsters after everybody who's on stream so I hope to see you on stream if you like this video guys make sure that you guys hit that like button it helps out the channel share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel remember guys no matter how hard it gets you gotta stay happy have a nice day yeah.